Alright, symbiosis is a topic um, that was covered, I think, in 6th sixth, sixth or 7th grade. And um, there are three types of symbiosis, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. And what symbiosis is, is um, when two different organisms live in close association with one another. So one um, is very close to the other. And um, the first one is, m again, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. And we'll go through each one of these and some examples. So the first one is mutualism, and that is when both organisms benefit from each other. So you, here you see a flower and a, and a bee. And so the bee gets nectar to make its honey from the flower. So it makes the bee happy. And then bees also deliver pollen uh, from one flower to the other, and it helps the flowers to re reproduce. So that's a good thing for the plants and the flowers. All right, another example of mutualism is this clownfish and um, this weird looking thing called an uh, anemone, right? And it's actually, it looks like a plant, but it's actually a sea animal. It's a creature. And so the fish gets camouflaged, you know, by hiding inside the tentacles. So the fish is happy. And, and this is called a clownfish, by the way. A clownfish protects the anemone by chasing away predators that would harm it. So some other fish like to come in and um, eat the tentacles of, of the anemone and the clownfish kind of chases it away so it protects his, it, it, they protect each other actually and so both are happy and then the next one is commensalism where one organism will benefit and the other one doesn't really care it has no effect so here you see an elephant and on its back is some sort of uh, some sort of bird can't tell what it is it's too small but the bird will eat the f the fleas and the the flies and the bugs and all the stuff crawling all over it. Um, so uh, the bird's happy because it's getting food. Um, but the elephant could care either way, right? Doesn't really care about the bugs. Doesn't really care about the bird. So it has no effect. So he could care less one way or the other. So that is commensalism. And then the third one is parasitism. Right, where one benefits and one is harmed. And so here we see the, the a tick, which is the parasite, digging into maybe, you know, the the skin of some sort of animal, maybe a dog. And so the tick lives off the blood of its host. And that's what uh, the victim's name is, you know, this Fido over here is getting its blood sucked out of him and you know the the dog is called the host. And so the tick is happy. Um, unfortunately, the tick's saliva is poisonous and can sometimes um, make the dog sick or even cause paralysis in, in an animal. And so even when, when children get, sometimes get ticks, it, uh, sometimes children can fall victim to paralysis. So that is definitely a bad thing. And uh, the host um, will become, will become kind of sad about that and the, the host is harmed. So that is parasitism. So again, symbiosis, and again, to remind you, all three of these are three different types of symbiosis, where two organisms, two different organisms interact with one another in a special sort of way. And again, it's mutualism, commensalism, paras parasitism, and in mutualism, one is happy and the other is happy. It's mutual. Commensalism, one is happy. The other one doesn't care. And then parasitism, where one is happy and the other one is sad because it's becoming harmed. All right, I hope that clears it up. And again, the definition of symbiosis and, and um, its different categories, um, if you look on the web, you'll see kind of different opinions. There's not always an agreement among scientists, but in general, I think... Um, this is the three most common categories that you'll see. All right.